everyone so uncool on the school bus? Is it really that bad to move so we can sit together? That's animal instinct, man. Everyone's protecting their territory. Oh, come on. People aren't animals, dude. Hey, Tobias, do you mind moving so we can sit? <laughs> hey, Gary! 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 I could do this forever. I don't have bones. Mm, you can have my suit. Here's a lesson to you selfish seat hogs! Never judge a book by its cover! No matter how weird and bald and a bit scary it might be. Thank you, sussy. You're a gentleman and a lady. Oh, what is that? The leather makes sussy sweaty. Well, on second thoughts, what kind of gentleman could rob such a fine lady of her seat? Please, take it back. I insist. Oh, uh, flush, flush. I've got such a craving for some anchovies and peanut butter. Oh, uh, <clears throat> hurry up, please. I'm sitting for two. Oh, they grow up so fast. Hey, hey, Banana Joe, how you doing, buddy? Do you mind moving up a seat so we can I'd move for anyone except you two backstabbing dweeb muffins? <laughs> Why are you so angry, buddy? Is it because we didn't defend you when Tobias said your mom is so overripe she's got fruit flies? Is it because we left you at that gas station on the way to Daisyland on your birthday? Because we were almost there, we decided to just pick you up on the way home? Is it because we forgot about you on that camping trip and you had to sleep under a tent of your own skin and eat a bit of yourself to survive? And you waited for three days in the woods but then decided to walk home and got lost? And winter came and you tried to light that fire with the lighter fluid we said you left you, but it wasn't lighter fluid, it was shampoo. And you got frostbite and that's kind of why you have no feet. I swear to you, my banana friend, by the end of the weekend we shall discover the source of your anger and appease your wrath. Ah, uh, no dude, we shall not. It's our special weekend. And nothing's gonna ruin it! Don't worry, we'll work it out. No peanut butter. The more time spreading the stuff, the less time playing the game. I can't believe you'd go and get tangled up with some menial banana problems and forget about our weekend. I like Banana Joe. He's like my favorite fruit. But I'm not going to ruin the gaming weekend of the century for a weekday friend. Do you remember how excited we were about this game? Dude, there's a new Zelmore coming out. When it comes out, you and me, buddy, we're gonna buy this game and play it till we're purple. Let's check if there's any more info. There's nothing. Hit refresh. Still nothing. Hit it again. Still nothing. Hit it again. Still nothing. Hit it again. I know, but what about Joe? He was so angry, he looked like he was gonna get a nosebleed. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Cause all I heard was <laughs> and something about bailing on the best weekend ever! Yeah, you're right. I'm really sorry to have forgotten about your weekend. It's definitely more important than a friend who's hurt, possibly scarred forever because of something we, well, let's be honest, more likely you, have done. Ah, what is that? That's the weight of the guilt. Give in to the nice side. Help the less fortunate and make the guilt go away, my friend. Oh, make it stop! <laughs> Surrender to your kindness, Gumball. It's nice to be nice. <laughs> Your guilt is strong, my friend, but it is no match for the power of my selfishness. Hey, what do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. <laughs> if a banana makes a joke and no one's around to hear it, does that banana even exist? Dude, let's have a soda. What the? Did you just say something? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Did you get that? Let's have a soda! Yes, you! Meet me outside by the machine! Hmm. <gasps> Let's get out of here. I'm getting shopping fever. I'm starting to hear voices. Mm -hmm. Let's just get the game. Good disguise. See you at the soda machine. Okay. Oh, your mom says hi, by the way. <laughs> 